welcome all in this lecture we are going to solve one more example that is based on block diagram reduction technique so using block diagram reduction technique reduce the system as shown below and find out the transfer function so in this question what we need to do is we just need to find out the overall transfer function of this control system that is given in the figure by the help of block diagram reduction technique so let's analyze this whole control system so from where we have to initiate here is the gain g2 and g3 that are connected in series and it is also forming a feedback path having the feedback gain equals to h1 but in between g2 and g3 there is a another takeoff point this takeoff point is creating a problem here and we have just studied the three tricks and according to the trick number one we just need to establish a feedback system to solve a block diagram more efficiently if we shift this takeoff point in the right hand side of g3 then g2 g3 and h1 will become a negative feedback system so the first step to solve this whole control system would be shifting of this takeoff point after the gain g3 so let's start with the first point that is shifting the take of point after g3 so how to shift the take off point after shifting the take off point what will happen we need to just analyze it so the gain g5 will get divided by the gain g3 because we are shifting the take off point from this position to this position so let's redraw the circuit here is r of s that is applied and here is the summer the output of this summer is applied to the gain g1 and it is now connected with another summer with positive polarity here is g2 here we shift this take off point after the g3 so g2 and g3 will come together after here is g4 the output of g4 is now applied to a summer with positive sign and here is c of s now we shift this point after g3 so here is the g3 here is the take off point and since we shifted this take off point after the block so therefore this g3 will get divided by this gain so g5 over g3 this is a new gain and it is being fed to this summer with positive polarity and also from this point here is a take off point which is making a feedback path so here is a take off point which is making a feedback path having feedback path gain equals to h1 it is a negative feedback and here also a negative feedback connected having a gain equals to h2 and this is here so this is a simplified block diagram after this let's analyze this block diagram here the two blocks having the gain g5 over g3 and g4 is connected in parallel and also 
here the two blocks having the gain g2 and g3 is connected in series so according to the rule that we studied in the previous lecture we know that if the blocks are connected in series then their gain will get multiplied so the equivalent gain will now become g2 multiplied with g3 and also if the blocks are connected in parallel then their gain will get added so the new gain will become g5 plus g5 over g3 plus g4 why we write plus here because here is a positive sign and here also a positive sign that's why it is added now let us redraw a circuit so solving the block g2 and g3 connected in series and also solving the blocks connected in parallel we get the equivalent block diagram as here is r of s that is applied to a summer with positive polarity output of summer applied to a block g1 g1 is connected with another summer with positive polarity and the equivalent of g2 and g3 will now become g2 g3 so here is g2 g3 and now the equivalent of these two blocks that are connected in parallel will now become g5 over g3 plus g4 and here is c of s now here is a take off point having the feedback path gain equals to h1 and it is connected to this summer with negative polarity and also here is also a negative feedback system with a feedback gain equals to h2 and here is its take off point so this is the circuit or the simplified circuit now analyze this circuit so what would be the next step here is a feedback system or a negative feedback system since the feedback is connected with negative polarity that's why we can solve this feedback system and simplify this block diagram so the next step would be solving negative feedback system now let's redraw the whole block diagram here is the input r of s that is applied to the summer with positive polarity and here is the gain g1 and here is the gain or the equivalent gain that will come out after solving the negative feedback system after this 
and another block having the gain g5 over g3 plus g4 is connected and it is the overall output here is another takeoff point having the feedback path gain equals to h2 is connected to this summer with a negative polarity now let's think about what will come in this block since the gain that is g2 into g3 was there and the feedback gain is h1 since it is forming a negative feedback system and we know that the formula of the transfer function for calculation of the negative feedback system is nothing but g over 1 plus g h so on substituting the value of gain equals to g2 g3 and feedback path gain h in place of h1 we get our simplified gain equals to g2 g3 over 1 plus g2 g3 into h1 so we simply write this in place of this gain so here g2 g3 over 1 plus g2 g3 into h1 now let's reanalyze this whole block diagram here are the three blocks that are connected in series connection so our next step is solving the blocks connected in series since the blocks are connected in series therefore their gain will now get multiplied so the equivalent gain will now become multiplication of g1 and g2 g3 over 1 plus g2 g3 into h1 and multiplication of g5 over g3 plus g4 these three terms will get multiplied and we will get our equivalent gain so let's simplify this g1 multiplied with g2 g3 1 plus g2 g3 into h1 let's take an lcm of this term so the lcm would be g5 plus g4 g3 over g3 now let's multiply it so its gain will now become g1 g2 g3 multiplied with g5 plus g3 g4 whole divided by g3 multiplied with 1 plus g2 g3 into h1 now here g3 will get cancelled out with g3 so the equivalent gain will now become g1 g2 g5 plus g3 g4 over 1 plus g2 g3 into h1 so if we solve these three blocks that are connected in series then we will get this equivalent gain now let's redraw this circuit so here is the input 
R of S that is applied to the summer with positive polarity and here is a equivalent gain that we have calculated that is nothing but G1, G2, G5 plus G3, G4 over 1 plus G2, G3 into H1 and here is the C of S that is output here is a takeoff point that is connected to the feedback gain H2 and the output is connected with negative polarity now our block diagram is now reduced to a feedback system here is a forward path gain and here is a feedback path gain the feedback path gain is now connected with a negative polarity that's why we can say that it is a negative control system or negative feedback system now we can easily solve this negative feedback system and we also know that if the negative feedback system is there then the transfer function T of S for the negative feedback system is nothing but equals to G over 1 plus G H if we replace the value of gain and H from this two then we get the overall transfer function as here G value is this gain value so we write G1 G2 G5 plus G3 G4 over 1 plus G2 G3 into H1 divided by 1 plus G value comes again G1 G2 G5 plus G3 G4 over 1 plus G2 G3 multiplied with H1 and whole term will now multiplied with this feedback path gain because here H value is there so H2 now on taking the LCM we get G1 G2 G5 plus G3 G4 will come in the denominator and this whole denominator will get cancelled out with this and on taking LCM we get 1 plus G2 G3 into H1 plus this numerator part that is G1 G2 G5 plus G3 G4 into H2 so this is the overall gain so now let us redraw the block diagram so it is the step number 5 so by simplifying we get here is an input R of S that is applied and here is a gain that we calculated and here is the final output that is nothing but C of S now let's write the gain that we calculated G1 G2 G3 G4 plus G5 over 1 plus G2 G3 H1 plus G1 G2 G3 G4 plus G5 into H2 
this is the reduced block diagram in the question we just need to reduce the overall control system and find out the transfer function here is the reduced control system but we also know that the transfer function that is represented by t of s will nothing but equals to c of s over r of s because according to the definition of transfer function it is equals to the laplace transform of output to the laplace transform of input and this is nothing but this forward path gain so our transfer function t of s is nothing but equals to g1 g2 g3 g4 plus g5 divided by 1 plus g2 g3 h1 plus g1 g2 g3 g4 plus g5 into h2 so this is the overall transfer function thank you